Hey everyone, today on Captain Housekeeper, I'm going to show you how to plant a container full of annuals using the thriller, filler, and spiller method. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. Of course, the first thing you have to do is select your container. Doesn't matter what you choose, you can use a store-bought container or you could recycle something that can hold dirt. It's up to you, but you'll wanna make sure that you have a drain hole in the bottom because if it fills up with water, it will drown the plants. So this pot that I've selected today um, is made of foam, believe it or not, even though it looks like it's cement. So it's easier to move around if I need to do that. I just drilled a hole in the bottom for drainage and I put about two inches of gravel so that the dirt won't clog up the drain hole. So next, choose your soil. I like to choose potting soil, which usually has little beads in it that help retain moisture, and it also usually has enough food for one growing season, so it makes it effortless. So put enough soil in so that you have enough room to put your plants. Now comes the fun part. The phrase you'll want to memorize and keep in mind when you're choosing your plants is thriller, filler, spiller. That's easy to remember. So the thriller is the, the plant that goes in the center and goes upwards. You want it to be vertical and to have flowers or something interesting about it. Something that really catches your eye. So the thriller that I chose is this beautiful green plant that has purple flowers called a Mona Lavender and I'm going to just put that, I'm going to take it out, you want to tease the roots a little bit so that they'll loosen up once you plant them and I'm just going to set that right in the middle. I'm going to put a little bit of extra soil in there to hold that into place, keep it nice and straight, we don't want it leaning, we want to get it off to a good start right from the beginning. And also your fillers and spillers probably don't need as much space vertically, so filling in some dirt helps prepare it for those. Annuals come with these little uh, stakes that have all the information, so you wanna see, is everything full sun? Does it need partial sun? Does it need full shade? You wanna make sure that your thriller, filler, and spiller all need the same amount of sun. But you'll also notice that it tells you to put them 14 inches apart or something like that. For annuals, you know, the season is short. You're going to plant these and want to enjoy them right away. So I say just cram those plants in there. They're going to do just fine for one growing season and they'll have maximum visual impact. So now I'm going to space out my fillers and my spillers. For fillers, I've chosen these dianthus, which kind of look like little carnations. They get kind of bushy, but they don't get too tall. They have these cute pink flowers, which will look really great contrasted with the purple in the thriller. I'm just going to space these out. Kind of space them out evenly so that when they do grow up, they'll look really nice together. So I put six of those in there, just like that. And now it's time to put the spillers, which for me, it's one of the most exciting parts of choosing the plants because there are so many spillers out there that are beautiful and exciting and fun to look at. So what you're looking for is something that's going to cascade over the side of the plant. And what I found are these cute little calabrochias. Aren't they beautiful? They have cute little pink flowers, which coordinate with the dianthus, contrast the purple in the thriller. And I'm going to put, I have two of them. These I'm assuming are gonna get real bushy, so I'm not gonna overplant too many of these. I'm just going to put two of them in the pot. So because I raised the soil after putting in the thriller, all I have to do is set the, the spiller and the filler into place. 
Now I just need to fill in with more dirt. Now when you're putting the dirt down in, make sure you kind of push it in with your fingers so that you don't leave any air pockets. Remember earlier I said if you don't have drainage, you can drown the plants. Well, if you leave air pockets, the roots can actually dry rot and you want to make sure you avoid that. Doesn't that look fantastic? In the middle we have these purple flowers that act as the thriller and these will get really big. And then all the way around we have these dianthus, these little pink ones, and those will act as the filler. They'll get about this big and they'll be covered in pink flowers. And then on either side of the pot, I put these spillers. These will get really long and be covered in flowers. The bright green contrasts the dark green of the thriller. This is a fantastic planter. I can't wait to see how it develops. So see how quick and easy that was? Just go to the store and select a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. You know that they take the same amount of sun. Cram them into a pot of your choice and they'll be beautiful all summer long. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring that little notification bell. You never know when I'm going to do a live show too. Please leave a comment and tell me what's your favorite annual to plant every year. Mine has always been petunias, morning glories. I love marigolds with their deep orange color. Let me know what you like. Also be sure to catch my other video on planting annuals and flower beds. Okay, see ya.